Hi, I'm James from Sonic Couture and I'm going to do a quick overview of our new Celesta instrument. Uh, to produce this instrument we worked closely with Schiedmeyer in Germany. Um, they sent us uh, what they regard as their finest instrument, the uh, studio model 5.5 octave. They tuned, serviced it and shipped it directly to us in an enormous flight case. Um, to ensure that uh, the recording was as pristine and perfect as possible. And it really has come out beautifully. I'm going to play you a little bit here. Um, okay, we had uh, two different uh, mic arrays on the top of the instrument, which, which is here. Uh, four microphones mounted across the top. You can hear it's got an incredibly uh, close, dry, precise sound that we've achieved in this recording. Uh, we also have um, microphones at the back of the cabinet. Um, this gives you a different perspective because of where the hammers are mounted within the cabinet. Uh, you can hear slightly more cabinet uh, with the back mics. Um, but really, uh, the point of the two sets of mics are that when you combine them, you get a, a very complete sound. They blend very nicely. Okay. And we have um, a simple menu here on the interface. Let's go through that quickly. Um, basic attack and decay. Um, you can shape the sound uh, quite nicely. You can bring it into something very soft, very pad-like. Um, we have some filters. Um, you can select any of contacts filters here. Uh, Moogie ladders. Um, we have uh, velo filter velocity and um, So on, filter envelope. Anyway, these are of course not um, not natural Celesta sounds. Uh, we have an LFO uh, with which you can get some uh, kind of vibraphone-like tones. You can really make it wobble. Pan effects. Okay. We have our, um, our micro tuning section here. Um, a few words of explanation about this. You need to switch it on. Uh, currently in its off state, then uh, the instrument is in its natural tuning. But if we click this bar at the top, then the retuning is on. Uh, let's play our MIDI again. Um, so you can now select from the preset menu uh, a huge range of different tunings. Um, Tibetan tunings or uh, Korean. Um, or you can, um, here you can tune individual keys. If you see here, if I play a key, G2, I can then uh, retune that as I like each individual key, or you can do it by octaves. I'm not going to get into that now, but um, for people that are into uh, alternative tunings, it's a, it's a fantastic resource. I'm going to switch that off. Um, and here's our, our setup page. You get a lot of control here over, um, over the curve. Uh, you'll hear the effect here if I. We bring bring the curve here, then um, you are hearing a lot more of the harder samples. If I bring it down here, it gets very very soft. And if you reduce the velocity, so you can hear that nice kind of clunky dead sound with the um, with the lower samples. Adjust the sound of uh, the pedal and the key off samples. Okay. It can get quite clunky if we do that. And I'll put it back to a kind of normal area. The 
This is quite interesting. We can randomise our velocity. Um, so the, no the incoming notes are going to pick different samples either side, depending on the percentage you set. And you can randomise the timing. So you can really change the, the feel of a piece of music like this. Um, some useful tools there. Okay. Um, speaking of tools, we have our generative tools section here um, and a new, a brand new generative tool that we've developed called Weaver. This is a lot of fun. Um, you can see these different lanes here. We can switch it on um, up here and we just play a simple chord. You can see them tracking along. If I click on this, it expands. Uh, now, first of all, it, we've set poly to eight here, but um, you can just have uh, as one to eight, as many as you like. Um, now, I'm going to explain this in a different video, um, but put simply, each, each key you play will play a successive lane. So one key, plays the first lane. The next key that you play with it will play the second. So we can we can see along the edge here. And three in a chord. So what's fun is you can completely define each of these differently. Um, Uh, you can use Euclid tools here, like as in our Euclidean uh, generator, um, to spread hits evenly. And uh, here we have a global decay control, which is very nice, which is what, what makes it feel a bit like a delay effect, even though it's not. You can, if you reduce this to quite a small value, you hear it uh, decay away from what you play. If you leave it longer, then it's, it's more like a sequencer. Uh, some really great presets here. There's a whole menu of presets you can step through with some pretty whimsical naming here. detail on another video. We've got some more products that use this. And here's our venerable jammer, which uh, many of you will know has been featured in many a Sonic Couture instrument. Um, we can switch it between loop mode, uh, pretty simple arpeggiator, or evolve mode, in which case uh, we can let it evolve. You can introduce gaps. You can put this in any scale you like. And up here you can store different presets, so uh, you can have a different set of settings for each one of these. And you can just step through. of fun to be had there with the jammer and with the weaver. And uh, finally we'll take a look at our effects page. Um, this is a, a kind of evolution of the layout that we um, have put on our All Saints Choir and All Saints Organ Instruments. Um, it's quite powerful. We've got um, three open insert, insert slots. So here you can choose any inserts you want at all. Um, you can have a compressor got the new replica delay and so on. Nice modulating analog delay. Uh, a, we have a cool ring mod processor here. Um, and you 
you put these in combination with things like Weaver. You start to create some really interesting effects. We have uh, an EQ. Don't need me to talk about that. And our space processor. As usual, um, we have some real rooms here, uh, an All Saints church reverb, uh, some small rooms. The um, small rooms are very useful actually um, with the Celesta. Give it a nice, just little touch of ambience to it. Um, and some more, the more creative uh, impulse responses we have in here. So you can put the instrument into a, a piano uh, soundboard. And adjust the width. Finally, we have a nice set of, of presets uh, featured as snapshots. Uh, several natural setups for the um, for the Celesta. Um, so from thinner sounds to the ones. Um, some sound design presets. Let's take a look at some of these. Some pad-like sounds, sequency things made with the made with the gentle. I like that one. Um, let's take a look at a couple more. A lot of twinkly magical sounds. Gamelin sound. Um, then you have those chilling wasps. See the weaver in action here. Steampunk. This is using a uh, screamer and rotator. The old clock tower. Some really beautiful, delicate, rhythmic sounds. This is Jammer. Vibraphone sound. But you would still need to buy our separate vibraphone instrument because, you know, it's not quite real, is it? A 
ring mod sound. You can increase the piano reverb. Okay, that concludes our, our little overview of Celesta. Um, it's a beautifully recorded instrument. Um, we're really proud of it and hope you enjoy it. Thanks, bye.